Hey everybody, Retro Gamer Ryan here once again. If you follow me on Twitter, you may have seen that um, I learned that, that that underwater room of spikes at the end of the last broadcast can be bypassed completely. And um, I gave it a practice run, and it's absolutely true. So uh, even though I said I was giving up, I'm going to give this one more try, and I swear, so help me, it's going to happen today. I'm going to beat this game. I'm going to be done with it forever. I'm going to set it on fire and throw. Oh, I'm going to throw it out the window. Then go out. Nah, that's stupid. Um, I'm going to never play it again. Um, so, yeah, this is going to, with any luck, be the the be all end all of Retro Gamer Ryan, Alex Kidd, and Miracle World broadcasts. And. You may have noticed if uh, if you were looking for the original original broadcast, the one that had two pieces to it, uh, I let that one lapse, so it's been deleted. But for the time being, I've uh, I'm holding on to the the second recording. But if this works the way it should, and it should, uh, this will be the the one that endures. So I'll get rid of the the other broadcast, and that'll be and that will be the end of it. So, uh, I don't think anyone really cares to see me sitting here talking to them through a camera. You'd much rather watch me play, so I'm going to play. Still have that mute thing because of that feedback loop. Okay, so we've got the color issue again a little bit, but that shouldn't be too bad. Oops. Gotta get back into practice because I play the game once a week. It is tested and proven there's a way to go. Well, it's, it's nothing, nothing special. Um, Right before the, the room with the spikes, or a couple rooms before it, there is a point where you can either drop down and go to the underwater spike room, or, or you can use the staff or cane of flight, whatever they call it, to fly up to another area. And if you fly up to that other area, you don't have to go through the spikes. You don't have to go through water at all. So. Like I said, I tested it, and it definitely works. Money's not going to be as important, hopefully, because I uh, am used to these areas. So with any luck, I'll at least get to the castle. Actually, I, I basically need to get through the castle without continuing. Oh yeah, you can also kill those frogs. Right? They just take a couple of hits. I learned that during my practice run. Yeah, so with any luck, I'll get, I'll get plenty of lives, and I'll be able to just kind of shoot through the whole game, except, as always, for that uh, that stupid um, jungle level with all the spikes. Me and spikes don't get along in this game. It's, it's pretty horrible. Bet you any speedrunners who watch this are like, why didn't you get the bike? Why didn't you get the bike? Because one, I'm not speedrunning the game, and two, I get more money without the bike. It's like a win-win. I don't have to spend money on the bike, and I get extra money without it. Uh, I was talking to my wife about this, and she noticed, because sometimes she uh, watches, oh, okay. <laughs> that should be fine. Uh, she watches the stream sometimes um, from another room, and she pointed out that I have like really gotten a lot better at the early levels. 
Because if you if you'd watched my first playthrough, um, it was bad. Like I died a couple times on every level, and it just it looked like I was just absolutely terrible at video games. And again, it's a lot of it is just the fact that Alex controls like some kind of ice skating semi truck. Um, but yeah, I've I've really gotten a partial hang of the controls, so I. I can reliably get through you know, most of the early game with no trouble at all. I forgot to bring it down, but I have a little sheet of paper that I, I finally went through and I wrote down what every single thing you're supposed to throw is for actually every fight in the game. I should be able to remember them all, but... This is only a total of like 14 of them. You fight each of these guys twice, and then you fight John Kevin Gray at the end. It's easy. I actually, I got lucky against him. Yeah, again, in my practice run. I, full disclosure, in my practice run, I beat the game. So I have already beaten the game, but I'm going to do it on camera. Also, I was playing around, and I discovered that you can destroy his tentacle. And if you destroy the tentacle, you can then go up to his face and punch him in the face. If you do that enough times, I, I think you actually only hit him a couple of times. It, it's kind of hard to line up. But if you, um, if you kill the octopus, you can go down into that pot that he's sitting on, and there's a bonus level in there. Yeah. I'm going to need a second, uh, second attempt. I'm hoping with any luck that I can kind of get this done in uh, an hour or less. having trouble with this on my last try too. It just suddenly became so much worse at going around those little platform edges. I need a do-over, I need a do-over. It's not that big a deal. Should have plenty of money for continues. That was not practice, I just got lucky.
The way I figure, I don't even need uh, one ups because it costs 400 to continue, 500 for a free life. Kind of a no-brainer. The only difference is, you know, when you if you're just coming back from one death, you come out at a checkpoint. Whereas when you continue, you come out at the beginning of the level. I still have not gotten the hang of moving around in the castle at the end at all. Pretty ridiculous, actually. <laughs> the room with the, the frogs and that platform at random heights. Watching me fumble my way through there is still a joke. Cool if I could have gotten the one up that was there too, but at least I'm not having another one. You never know what would have happened if I had let the ghost kill me and then gone back for the one up, I might have died again. Up and had a good look at the guys in the trees, and they're actually like monkeys wearing vests. So, I don't know.
little better at maneuvering him in the air now. yet to get through this uh, above part of this level. I always mess something up. I'd love to see the end of it, but actually this is the farthest I've ever gotten, so. Cool. <laughs> First time ever and you guys got to see it. Scissors again, and then paper, paper, rock, scissors, no, rock, 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 scissors, paper, paper. that section is, I look back and I don't believe I've ever died there. It looks like I should die there often, but I don't think I ever have. The trick there is you just have to punch all three of them. It took me far too long to realize that. And it'll 
Bill doesn't need that iron. Just needs that of his cage. Even though I don't think he's bothered to uh, master the ancient art of shell core. It's the only reason I can break blocks. about every jump now. So I don't want to mess this up. Shortcut. Shortcut lost. <laughs> Ugh. That was unfortunate. Slide first, make sure the scorpion is dead. Be a hero. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm going after this this time. I don't need the uh, divine reading capabilities anymore. into account the number of hits you put in before. That's nice. At least the bird 
pterodactyl bats don't drop anything. It's actually pretty common in, in Japanese you know, platform type games, so I appreciate that they don't do that. Hey buddy. It turns out this stone slab is so important. You get to the end and it's like, you're going to die unless you use that stone slab. You only have to visit one shop, or two shops in the entire game. One to get the, uh, the pedicopter in that one level. You don't have to get that. But then you have to get the staff. If you don't get the staff, you're not getting through the game. You kind of pick your battles with these platforms. I always die there. Yeah, ultimately, the only thing I have to worry about is making sure that I use the cane in the, the next castle and then I don't lose all my lives. If I use the cane and lose all my lives, then I have to start over. Neat! Super predictable. Because they are not random. All I have to do is not screw up here. I'm all right. Or if I do screw up, I just have to do it before the point where I use the cane because I think I keep my items. I think I keep my items after uh, continuing. After continue. As long as I haven't used them, obviously. And I keep going after money. I don't know why at this point. If I beat the game correctly, I shouldn't have to continue. There's a reason why the continue code is kind of secret. It's a code and it's not in the book. So. Actually, I almost died here in my practice run. I managed to uh, miss the block a couple of times, and the fire was getting dangerously close to me. Don't have 
after money. Don't need to. I never did figure this uh, this room out with the, the money bags there. <laughs> Usually better at this part. This is the room that makes all the difference. Turns out, if you use, oh by the way, if you use this thing right here, that's going to come up later. Just so you know. If you use the cane, you float up here, you don't have to go through that other room. See, there's this stuff all lets out on the other side. There's a kind of tricky jump coming up there. Makes me nervous. But I can do it. I have done it. Oh. I have done it. And all you have to do is hit doesn't look possible, but you just get on the other side of the fire and you're good. Let the flames pass. Get rid of the scorpion. Just take them one at a time. And guess what? It's lucky that you have managed to come this far. However, I'll put an end to that. Let's John Ken for three matches, and if you lose, I'll make you turn into a stone. It's so awkward. Let me teach you how to play that game you've been playing the entire time. Hopefully, don't mess up the position at the end of this fight. Actually, at the beginning of this fight. By the way, I thought that was a giant mustache. I think it's actually a... Um, I think his mouth is wide open. He's got little fangs. Just thought you might like to know. We keep this up forever. It's kind of cool because the shots come out and they're you know, moving in a sine wave pattern, but the amplitude goes up you know, with each iteration of the wave. So it makes it harder to dodge back there. But since they always go up when they come out, they go over your head. There you go, last boss killed. Take the sunstone, thank you very much. I read that if you climb up this ladder and then climb back down, you can refight him for points or whatever, but I'm not about to do that. Thank you, Alex. Your mother is well and in good hands. Please save the Redaxian people with your most powerful weapon, the crown. I will stop doing the air quotes thing right now, because it is kind of stupid. I'm sorry. This 
is how I found out that the frog could be killed. The frog has to be killed. Place the moon and sunstones, and you go in here. And it's like, what do you do? If you step on the wrong panel, like the wrong anything here, uh, ghosts come out, and you can't leave this room. So, if you're really lucky, you could dodge them. Like, just keep dodging them until you got the, you know, all the, the things pressed. But it's tricky. Okay, so uh, this reads like um, like old style Japanese or Chinese. It reads from top to bottom, right to left. So it's you know, it, it's sun, waves, moon, star, sun, moon, waves, fish, star, fish. I'm going to take it a bit at a time here, though. Okay, so, sun, waves, moon, star. Sun, waves, moon, star. Oh, wow. Well. Here is that done. There, there's a delay after you unpause. There's a little bit of a control delay. I wasn't ready for it. Sun, waves, moon, star. Sun, moon, waves, fish, star, fish. Sun, moon, waves, fish, star, fish. Sun, moon, waves, fish, star, fish. And there's the crown. Now I just have to get over those spikes. That's it. Sixty-eight thousand is not a lot. That was a pretty terrible score, but I don't care. So I did it. it only took me three, you know, multi-hour attempts. This one's not that long yet, but uh, I finally completed Alex Kidd in Miracle World on camera. It's actually, like I said, the second time I've done it. Um, I'm not sure when the next broadcast will be. I might very well pull something else off uh, this weekend. But if not, then, you know, I'll play it by ear. I'll, uh, I'll make any, any decisions as I see fit. But, um, yeah, this one's going in the record books. And, uh, and hopefully you enjoyed it. I certainly did, even though it was incredibly frustrating. And I spent a grand total of probably about... Close to 10 hours on this game, which, considering it's, you know, like a, a pack-in title, it's, some versions of the Master System have this thing built into it, so it's one of the most common games. You wouldn't think it would be too complex. Um, so yeah, I spent more time on it than I would like to admit. But, yeah, that's it. Alex Kid and Miracle World, complete. Um, next broadcast, like I said, not sure when it's going to happen. Not sure what game it's going to be. Not sure what system it's going to be. I've got some stuff to choose from here. Um, I'm planning... I, I haven't actually brought it up with him, but I, I mentioned in an earlier broadcast that the NES and Super NES are currently with my brother. And um, we're planning on getting together in a couple of weeks. And uh, if possible, I would like to get him involved in a broadcast to do something two-player. I've actually got a couple of games here that I'd like to... Uh, to take a two-player crack at. And, um, and from that point on, then I'll also be able to do NES and Super NES games. But 
Uh, for now, I don't know. It's a mystery to me, so it's a mystery to you. Um, but for the time being, this is Ryan, Retro Gamer Ryan, uh, signing off. <laughs>